On July 14th, the youth media team visited Press Pass TV. Press Pass TV targets youth as consumers of media and leads them through an interactive learning experience, teaching them to become critical thinkers, community producers, and agents of change. We ran a workshop with them on news, searching, and evaluation. We began by exploring their ideas about news stories and everyday sources of information. Through a sticky note exercise, we talked with the kids about different news sources and their beliefs toward them. Each student wrote words on sticky notes describing their positive, negative, or neutral feelings towards different sources and put them on the board. We then had a sort, short discussion about how people value different sources of information. After this warm-up activity, we introduced the participants to an information quest and asked them to form groups of three. We told them that a blogger in Syria had been reported missing. The goal for each group was to figure out what had happened to this blogger. They had to answer three questions within five minutes and could use any online search engine. We read the questions out loud and they had to write down which search terms they used and why. The groups had to find out as much information as possible in their limited amount of time. Each group had one youth and media team member at its side for answering specific questions about their task. When the time was up, each group presented their findings and we created a table on the board comparing the different answers, key terms, and sources for the questions. All of the groups successfully figured out that the story was about a kidnapped lesbian blogger from Damascus. They also found out her father's name and that she had a cousin who had helped her and had reported her missing. The groups mainly had used the first link provided to them by Google, and some checked a second source to be sure of their answer. We provided a timeline of the story, highlighting the differences between the mainstream news sources and blogs. We asked the groups if they could find out what really happened to the Syrian blogger. After listening to their answers, we confirmed that the lesbian Syrian blogger did not exist at all. It was a hoax. The gay Syrian blogger from Damascus had been made up by an American man who had wanted to make a point and tell a particular story. Surprisingly, only one team figured this out. We then discussed how news organizations also did not realize immediately the hoax surrounding this blogger. We told them that journalists and bloggers became suspicious about the story when they could not find out any additional information about this girl. Eventually, other journalists found out the truth and broke the story globally. The kids were surprised to find that sometimes even the news can get it wrong. As a wrap up, we talked with the kids about their projects for the following weeks discussing how they would also have to do background checks and how the searching and evaluating exercise provided them with some additional insight. It was an inspiring afternoon. The feedback we received from the participants was very positive and each youth and media team member walked away very impressed and very excited about our work.